When people use all parts of an animal, they're killed ethically. What is ethical killing? What I push for more is stricter regulation. How do you regulate bullets in the head? Well, preventing stuff like this. How are you going to do that? How do you know that all farms do this, though? In theory, some farms yeah. might not, but I mean, that's a theory. I'm vegetarian. I don't eat meat at all anymore, nothing. But I understand why other people do it. It's natural to, like, kill other animals and eat them. Do you know what this is? Do you know what you're watching? Tell us, please, yeah. Standard practice from like UK and some from Australia, but abattoirs, farms, things like that for meat, dairy, eggs. Yeah, yeah. Mainly in fishing, um, wool, things like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a dairy industry, what you're watching now. Nah, it is poor. Yeah. What do you think about this? It's crazy. I've, I've never seen it like a yeah. scene like this. What happens is there are some fantastic investigators who leave secret cameras and they leave them rolling for a few weeks and this is the kind of thing they grab? Yeah. Because they're not going to really show the public what really goes on, are they? Yeah, no, exactly. You're a customer. Yeah. And they want to tell you all that it's all humane and everything's nice and we love our animals and all this crap that you hear constantly from farmers and that. Yeah. But this is the reality. Yeah. There's a dairy cow being slaughtered because she can't produce enough milk for the... Because she's essentially a unit of production. Yeah, so yeah, she, yeah. production goes down, she gets slaughtered for burgers. Yeah, yeah. The milk industry and the egg industries are the meat industry because all those animals are slaughtered. See this sign here, don't look away if you pay for this. Yeah. Uh, collectively, as consumers, we make up the demand for this. Yeah. yeah. So without us, this doesn't happen because yeah. they're supplying us. So I'm asking people just to choose something else that doesn't involve animals. Yeah. Because if it involves animals, I don't care what stick is on it, RSPCA assured, red tractor, free range, all this bullshit. It's just marketing to you. It's, just, yeah. it's marketing to people with a conscience. That's what it's doing. How do you know that all farms do this, though? Because surely some farms wouldn't do this. I mean, in, in theory, some farms yeah. might not be, but I mean, that's a theory. So every time we put cameras in these places, something's going on. Every time these places are investigated, there's, there's, there's rampant abuse. There's uh, forms of torture happening that are legal, sometimes required some forms of torture, like mutilations, uh, beat clipping and um, dehorning and things like this. Is there no sort of like regulation or anything for this sort of... Yeah, they're guidelines. Process. They're yeah. called guidelines. There's some regulations. There's and no enforcement. But yeah, this is what you're looking at. Yeah. yeah. Like this is a... Because turkeys have grown so big, they can't naturally mate, so they artificially... They fiddle around with their private parts. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of noncing, animal noncing that goes on. Well, seriously, because it's a fundamental cornerstone of animal agriculture is artificial breeding. Yeah, yeah. So farmers, they wank off the bulls, they fist the cow in the anus and hold the cervix and put semen in a vagina. Without artificial breeding, mass farming doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I assume you're vegan then. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah no, Otherwise no, I'd no. be a massive hypocrite. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, because I have thought about this before. So I'm vegetarian anyway, I did when I was seeing this stuff. Obviously, like, dairy industry is really poor as well. Saying that though, I do have issues when I see it, like, stuff like alternatives to so almond milk or whatever, like, you're drinking, also take up huge amounts of agricultural land and it's not sustainable either. What's agricultural land got to do with uh, this? Okay, it's not to do with this, but okay. the whole world's become vegan, it's not sustainable. Okay. Based on what evidence? How, how did you formulate this belief system? Well, what from what I read online. Where did you read this? Do you not remember? It doesn't make sense mathematically. It doesn't make sense logically. Cause, yeah, but, cause, yeah. Because uh, the, what do you think these animals are being fed? Yeah, I agree, but... No, what are they being fed? They're not being fed like vegan milk. No, they're being fed oats, corn, soy, yeah, wheat, which also take up land. Yeah, yeah. right. No, so ma mathematically, if there's eight billion humans, right, yeah. and there's 80 billion land animals being slaughtered, yeah. what do the 80 billion land animals eat? No, no, no. So I agree, but they're, so products like wheat, all this, right? We can do it. That's fine because energy efficiency across like, energy cycles, right? Yeah. It's only about. 10%. So you agree that an animal takes more calories yeah. per calorie of meat? Yeah, I agree, 100. Yeah. It's only about 10 percent for like animals. It's, it's, it's way less efficient than the animals. It's like 10 times more calories it's required. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But what I'm saying is that like dairy alternatives are difficult. When you drink stuff like almond milk and stuff, they take incredible amounts of water to produce. Yeah, but it's still less than dairy. So why wouldn't you have an accusation against dairy? dairy? It is less than dairy. Like, Do you want me to pull up the data for you? No, no, I'm genuinely interested. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so is that the kind of thing that would hold you back from... It is, yeah, yeah. So honestly. this wouldn't, but the water would? No, because don't get me wrong, I think on the side of uh, right right, this is why I stopped eating meat, because I, I turned vegetarian because I, I struggled to see this stuff. So, so I'm vegetarian, I'm not vegan. Focus on that. Yeah, yeah. But, focus no, no, on no, that. But, so why did you go vegetarian? It wasn't for water use, was it? Well, it was environmental reasons. You went vegetarian for, but you said you could because you couldn't see this. I didn't like this. That was a side benefit. The main reason was environmental reasons. Okay. I'm not here for water saving. I'm here for animal rights. It's like yeah. a, if you're a, you're a human rights activist and they're yeah. using too much water at a human slave farm. That's not going to be your primary focus. So my primary yeah, yeah. focus is this. Yeah, yeah. Of course. No, and no. even if almond milk used twice as much water, 
work. And it was the only alternative. Yeah, yeah. I would still want you to choose almond milk over this because of the rights violations and the suffering and the killing. Of course, yeah. This yeah. is never going to be justified for water. Yeah, um, yeah. But the fact is, is almond milk uses less water and there's also a plethora of other milks you can choose, like yeah, goat milk, yeah. which is one of the least environmentally damaging milks you can possibly think of. Yeah, don't get me wrong, this is really hard to see, but I do value the fact that we need to maintain the world we have as well. And really, for me personally, what I push for more is stricter regulation of rights of use over... How much stricter can it, can it be? Well, preventing stuff like this. Of course, it's tough. How are you going to do that? Yeah, it's tough. I don't know. So the regulations I, I, are in place. Yeah. How are you going to ma manage every single factory farm in the UK? So I agree. I don't, have the, I don't have the solution to that. But what I do say is that how are we going to save the whole world and actually keep our ecosystem and environment going? Well, don't get me wrong. I don't want to put... Just so happens, the side right? issue is the environment. The side issue is that plant-based diets are much better for land use, water use, every conceivable environmental issue you can think of, uh, plant-based yeah. diet is better for. But there are environmentally friendly ways to murder animals with a gun. You know? no, no, I and so, yeah. so even if, it, if shooting a deer in the heart was more environmentally friendly than almond milk, I'm not going to say, yeah, well, the best thing to do is shoot the deer in the heart. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, because obviously you have to agree, at least, that animals deserve rights to protection. No, I agree, of course. Okay. So if you agree... No, so th th this is what I'm saying, because that's what I'm saying, I'd really push more for more regulation rather than that. But then you're saying, how do you push that? Of course. Well, how do you regulate bullets in the head? But, I mean, that's exactly what I'm saying, right? So in that sense, you can't... It, or it's so tough. they bolt the, the cows in the head and they decapitate them. How, yeah. Let's just say they didn't abuse them on the way. Do you think that that's justified to eat their bodies or or for dairy? No, I don't think it's justified. Don't get me wrong. So then we, like, we're agree, we, we basically yeah. agree. I agree, but I'm saying for me personally, I struggle to find the balance of how do I support like the world and it continuing as it has to versus animal rights. I honestly agree, it's disgusting. So if you make a positive claim like uh, almond milk is destroying the environment more no, than I'm dairy... I'm not making that claim. No, no, yeah, you, you thought, yeah. but you, you did think that though, because that was the kind of thing that would stop you from... So what I, yeah, so what I saw online is almond milk is worse than having regular milk for the environment. Yeah, and I've yeah. seen that article too, yeah. and it was an article based not on research, but this guy here, Joseph Poor, found 80% of farmland is used for livestock, but it produces just 80% of calories and 37% of protein. Can I take a picture of this off your phone? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There you go. Good man. Let the, let the science lead you. Yeah, yeah. So this is the biggest study of its kind. Um, yep. it's 40, they they analysed 40,000 farms in 119 cover, uh, countries and covering 40 food products yeah. that represent 90% of all that is eaten. Joseph Paul actually wasn't vegan when he started his research and he went vegan after because of what he found. And um, just let the data lead you in terms of the oh, really? environment. No, it looks like it's a good one. Less greenhouse gas, water use, land use, uh, you know, deforestation, all of those things, species yeah. extinction. Although almond milk is one of the most water intensive yeah, of yeah. the plant crops, it's still less water intensive than dairy. But luckily there's 11 others. Yeah. No, so I, I agree that on the whole, because I totally agree, stuff like oats, us eating it directly is so much more efficient than an animal eating it. Well, every plant food is more efficient for but, us to eat it yeah, directly, well, except for... I'll have to read it, but that's where my concern of dairy is like oat milk. I wasn't sure of stuff like that. Or like even stuff like avocado, which is produced in mass. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I can't say yes or no, but from what I've heard, it could be... Yeah, like but you've heard it from people with a vested interest in the meat industry. So remember, it's a massive business thing. This, yeah, is, yeah. this is a war. Yeah, yeah. We, we want the animals to have rights. Yeah, they want to... They want to imagine I'm ruining your business. Yeah. yeah what are you going to say? You're going to no, make accusations against vegans. They're hypocrites. They have almonds and avocados and yada yada. And yeah, yeah. you know, they basically say there's no environmental difference between meat and plants, which is a load of shit and it's not based in any of the research. And yeah, yeah. all we're asking people to do is to look inside their heart first. Yeah. Do you think this is justified? No, obviously, it's, it's disgusting. So, how about you? How do you feel watching this? Yeah, it's not it's definitely not pleasant, man. It's not something I've seen that much as well. So, I think it's good that you are showing people because yeah. it's not something that the, I think the average person would think about. No. And then why is that? They they just they just hide the sort of uh, the sort of uh, and why? stuff like that. But they want to give you the, the pretty the pretty image. And why? Because they want you to buy their products. And why do they want you to buy their products? So they can make money. So when you hear farmers say we care about our animals, mm. can you care about money and the rights of a sentient being at the same time? Or is at some point those those two things are going to conflict? Yeah. It's a major conflict of interest isn't it? Mm. Selling sentient beings and saying you care about them, but really you're prioritizing money. I think there is a line you have to draw there, right? Because stuff like this way too far past the line personally for me, like it's awful. But I do understand people have to make a living as well and understand that okay. there is an ethical way to raise animals. And like, you know, when, when people use all parts of an animal, they're killed ethically. How do you kill stuff, ethically? That, that's a personal line. It's what you believe to be ethical. What do you think is an ethical way example, to kill? For example, I'll say something, I've seen an example, like the, I feel like the Sami people in Norway, if uh, like tough living, they need to, some places need to rely on their sources of meat, right? Mm -hmm. They raise their reindeer, they look after them very well, but they will harvest them at the end of the day. They'll use their skin for fur to keep them warm. They'll use every part of their meat to eat. I think 
in that way, at least it's not wasted. It's not done in a bad way, and it's it's a way of life for them. They're living in some kind of survival situation, are you saying? Yeah, of course, it's a tough situation, so it's very different. But of course, I'm giving you an extreme there because they, they have to rely on their meat. Well, it depends because that's, that's a subject, because you said it's a way of life. So that tells me that they're doing it because it's a tra traditional. Traditional, because, because they the live forest... surrounded by snow. There's very little crops okay. and stuff to right. like. So even in that yeah. situation, I still yeah. wouldn't think it's justified to, well, like, for one, I wouldn't think it's justified to enslave people because you're in that situation. Why would I agree that it's okay to decapitate animals because you're in that situation? So unless, like, unless I think that, okay. so you're saying they don't have access to any plant foods like Inuits? Yeah, yeah, for example. But what, okay, so in that situation, what would you say they should do? So let's just say you agree with animal rights, you agree with animal yeah. rights, the entire world agrees with animal rights. These animals have fundamental rights protecting them, like uh, similar to human rights, yeah, yeah. and they can't be enslaved and killed. And in the situations where they are in a, a situation like that, we're going to have to get plant foods to them because the rights of the animals trump inconvenience at that point. But that's when the world... So you're talking about these extraneous... Like, there's people in the Amazon right now who spear chimpanzees and eat them over a fire. They're disconnected from the world, right? So I'm asking people in this situation to eat a plant-based diet because it's easier. Yeah. It's easy, much easier for us. And then when animals have rights, obviously we're going we're gonna to have universal animal rights and we're going to start saying, hey, you know, we're going to have to help these people get food. We're going to have to help these people get food without killing animals, you know? Yeah. I still wouldn't call that ethical, like decapitating an animal. Yeah, like, it's not ethical, but what else do you do in that situation? I mean, like, look, I don't necessarily think it's ethical to shoot someone in the face in self-defense, but what else are you gonna do in that situation? Luckily, I'm not in, in that situation. Yeah, yeah. You know, I would... So we're not, I agree, I've given an extreme, we're not in that situation, we yeah. do have that choice. So what is ethical killing? Yeah, it, yeah, true, it's a tough one, because I still struggle with that in my head, I don't know what the answer is, but in my head, I still do think, like, you know, if an animal's unaware of what's going on at the time, they've been raised while they've been given a free range life, whatever, um, and they're still harvested, not wasted. Um, I'm not for that, because like I said, I'm vegetarian. I don't eat meat at all anymore, nothing. But I understand why other people do it. And why do people do it? They like meat. They like meat. Yeah, yeah. And you think that justifies raising an animal in the free? Because also there's two no, types of free range. I'm not arguing here because I don't think it's worth yeah. it. There's, 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 so that's why I don't eat meat. There's anymore, two types but... of free range. There's what they label to you as free range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people go, oh, that must be what I think in my head. And then there's someone who has a couple animals out the back and they just decapitate them and they they know them for their they, they've known them for their entire life and they've never abused them. Yeah, yeah. Me, I think killing a happy animal is kind of like a graver injustice because they they have a more of an interest in li living. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, causing animals suffering and then killing them is also very wrong. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I agree. It's, it's a fair point. I, I see, I'm, I'm kind of on your side here because I don't eat animals anymore. But, uh, but you're, you're basically repeating to me a belief that a lot of people hold. Yeah. And it's because they've been told this... This. I don't think you came up with this yourself. Because it's, 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 since I was a kid, this is what I hear, right? But saying that, through human history, every other animal, it's natural to, like, kill other animals and eat them. Like, do you yeah. not think so? Oh, oh no, 100%. But yeah, I, yeah. I don't look to nature for to, to guide my moral uh, compass. compass. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, if, uh, you can imagine if I said, hey, you know what, bro, it's natural for us to kill each other and lions kill each other's uh, cubs or a jaguar will rip a antelope's face off while they're still alive, so I'm going to bite this guy here. You know, so I don't know. What's natural doesn't really dictate morality. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. Yeah. 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 Sorry, yeah, yeah, we actually... Ah, no, that's right. Thanks yeah, for the conversation. I appreciate yeah, it, guys. Yeah.